Hello class, good morning. Today we will be discussing ethics and justice. Thanks for uh, showing up. Thanks everyone for showing up to I know it's tough, it's a beautiful day out. It's hard to come to class. Anyway, today we'll be discussing just justice and ethics and we'll be watching a video on the ring of Gaijis, pronounced Gai G's. All right, and when we're watching this film, I would like all of you to think about this essential question. Would you care about doing the right thing and being fair to everyone if you could get away with anything? So think about that as we watch this film, and I'll know if you're sleeping, so pay attention. Whatever. Howdy, y'all. Today we're going to take you on a ride with the Ring of Gaijis. Now, Gaijis was a shepherd. He found himself a ring. He was one just man, but would you do the same thing? Bow, bow, bow. Come on in. The water's fine. Hey there. How's it going? Good. My name's uh, Glaucon. Oh, uh, nice. You from a kitty cat shepherd? Uh, yeah, more of a kind of babysitter, but yeah. I am the shepherd. Awesome. All right, here is uh, my cat. So uh, this is Chester Jr. Oh, hi, Chester. Yep. She likes nice playing outside. So, but don't let her go outside for too long. Okay. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, sounds good. Oh, why aren't you giving this thing? Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Treasure. This is nuts. This is just unreal. Whoa, look at that ring. Guys, love these kitty cat shepherd. Conventions, they're just my favorite thing ever. Hearing all the stories about all the great cats, they're great. It's my sure. favorite job. I love babysitting cats. It's so awesome. I'm just trying to build my rep up, you know? Like just last week, I took four jobs in one day. I had to babysit four cats. What the heck? Malcolm, where'd you go? Oh, I'm right here, dude. Where? Oh, right here. What the heck? That was crazy. What did you do? This ring, I just twisted it, and all of a sudden I disappeared. It's got some crazy powers. <laughs> now Gaji's kind of like a CEO, no one holding him in check. When those actions aren't accounted for, at least the rest of us in a wreck. Bow, bow, bow. Hey, Glaucon. Now this company's just one of the young bucks. The match higher there, you know. To the old people, man, just get left off in the mud. Bow, bow, bow. Well, Dunley, you know, I just, on behalf of everybody here in the entire office, I just wanted to say thank you for your incredible 30 years as account manager. Uh, thank you, thank you. Seems like just yesterday you were coming out of high school, you know, you were here before me and my boss even, so it's pretty great to have you here and your ambition to just stay grinding at the same same job and managing the same people. It's very inspiring. And, and so. you, know, it, you know, thank you for taking me to the Chili's Lounge. You know, this upgrade in the, in the, Chili's, in the Chili's network of chains is pretty good. I can't imagine going anywhere else, you know? Yeah, I mean, ever since they upped their menu, I mean, it's great. Hey, oh, yeah, it's, it's great for my diet. You know I could use it. You know I could use it. Yeah. So here I am doing yeah. it. Well, yeah. Yeah, I just look forward to having you here for a lot longer. You know? Yeah, but here's yeah. boss. <laughs> If you and I could talk a little bit, just you and I, then that'd be pretty great. Yeah. Pretty, if, yeah. if we could just, you you and I, be pretty great. Yeah, we, we could do it. All right, guys, can you uh, give us a moment and uh, we'll meet you out in the cars? <laughs> thanks, fellas. <laughs> well, Brett, Lisa, thanks for dinner. Okay, here's the thing, Chief. I've been here for 30 years. I've been at Dollhouse or Dollhouse or Bryant's for 30 years. Uh -huh. I'm only 55 years old. And here's the thing, the old broad divorced me a couple years back. All I want to do is watch the Canucks play, but I gotta make a little coin on the side to avoid my apartment on Fifth Avenue. That's not an easy place to live. There's a lot of young people, a lot of sproutly guys like you, and that's just why I'm trying to appeal to your sproutly senses, young buck. 
it's time for me to move up in the company. Really? I think it's, yeah, I, I do think so. Because the thing is, is I've been at the same job managing the same people. That new division, you got that new le leadership program. I saw it on one of them, uh, one of the maps on the apps in the dollhouse. It doesn't matter. But the thing is, is I think that I could do it. I don't know what the new division is. Um, it, is it survey and Mark land? Marketing. Is marketing? marketing. Well, I could, I could do marketing. Um, I mean, believe me, I was around when the market first opened, if you know what I mean. Uh, frankly, if I don't get this, I might have to leave the company. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I can do the job that you want me to do. If, and, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, it's great to see some leadership finally coming out of you. You know, thank it's you, been a long time coming, and you have been here for a while. I, I, my, bone, my bones are brittle, but they're sprightly, Chief. They're right. sprightly. I'm going to have to talk with the other managers about uh, you, you being the one selected from our division to go and do this leadership program for a couple months, and, you know, I'll let you know by the end of the month the, the decision we come up with. You know what, let me tell you something. I think, I think you would do great in that next class. Come in. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? Cosmo, how's it going? It's going well. Um, I just want to talk to you about the dinner we had yesterday for Dudley. Oh yeah, how was that? It was good, it was good. I mean, it was great to see an employee be here for such a great, great long time. Yeah. And, but cool. something came up and uh, he kind of gave me an ultimatum. He said that he wants to be the one from our division to be asked to go to the program, the leadership program, wow. for three months. I mean, he's showing great initiative, but I know we had our mind set on Carol because she's young, she's driven, she shows promise in this company, and she's very into it. Yeah. And, you know, Dunley, he's kind of out of time. He doesn't really know our technology very well. And honestly, we've kept him around just because he's a great guy to have mm -hmm. around in the office. Did he make that weird uh, iPad joke? Yeah, he yeah, did. Classic. He did. Classic Dudley. So, uh, what do you think we should do, Jared? I think, you know, I personally like to make pros and cons lists, so I think we should do one of those and uh, see where Dudley ranks. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what we got going on. All right. Well, Cosmo, I think, you know, after making this extensive pros and cons list that uh, we're going to have to go with Carol. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was going to say to you, too. I think just looking at it, Dudley's out of date. He's never showed interest in the company before and moving up in it. And he's done okay work, but everybody just likes him because he's a great guy, but Absolutely. his work doesn't really show show that. Yeah, I agree. I think we should give uh, Dudley one last chance to try to stay with this company because he's been fantastic at his role here. And, you know, we, we like to keep those kind of employees around. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I'll have a conversation with him, and if he decides to leave, then we could just hire her. Sounds great. All right. Pleasure as always. Yes, Cosmo. See you later. Ciao. We still on for a uh, squash tomorrow? You bet. All right. We'll see you there at the courts. Man, that poor Dudley, man, looks like he'd be at the job. But fact of the matter ends up being he got no potential to rob. Bow, bow, bow. Now let's look at a case study, a little company called Walmart. We'll see how you feel about little Bill Words. He's kind of a racist fart. Bow, bow, bow. Welcome to Nappy Boy Radio Live and News Television. I am your host, Terrence Payne. Today's hot topic is Walmart and them taking screw the workers' capitalism to new depths. This modern day robber has pushed its Latin American suppliers to cut costs to the bone. When will this madness end? Walmart has been accused of using third party contractors who hire illegal immigrants to work below minimum wage, forcing employees to work overtime without being paid for it busting up attempts to unionize and skimping out on workers' retirement compensations. If, the, if they are getting away with these criminal acts in the U.S., what will happen in Latin American countries? One of our field reporters, Christopher Brown, is currently in Bentonville, Arkansas, with Walmart spokesman Bill Wirtz. Christopher, what do you have for us? Thanks, T-Pain. I'm Christopher Brown, the on-air live reporter, coming from Bentonville, Arkansas. Bentonville, around Bentonville. Bentonville, Arkansas, with... Walmart spokesman Bill Wirtz. Mr. Wirtz, these Latin American countries are grappling with weak economies and trying to have as many jobs provided for their civilians as possible. No doubt Walmart supplies those jobs, right. but Walmart is notoriously a horrible company to work for. 
What do you have to say about that? The thing is, Chris, is a standard's kind of different between uh, between culture and uh, country. But um, regardless of standards, you know, I think the people of Latin America, they appreciate those jobs that you were just talking about. And I, I even brought some numbers for you. I wrote them on the uh, Arby's receipt. Did you know they have a limited time barbecue brisket sandwich? It's just it's just delightful. I, I don't go to Arby's. Oh, well, that is your mistake, my friend. So let's look at Mexico. Walmart is the biggest private employer in Mexico. You can put that down and take that to the bank, if you know what I mean. Now, they have 663 stores in Mexico, and that means there's over 100,000 Mexicans working for Walmart in Mexico. That's over $11 billion a year. That's a lot of burritos, my friend, a lot of burritos. Now, Puerto Rico is a part of America. I'm not really sure, but until I see 51 stars on that flag, I don't really know what to call them. But I do know what I can call them. I can call them proud owner of 53 Walmart stores. That's over 12,000 Puerto Ricans working for Walmart, and you know they appreciate that. Do they eat I don't know if they eat tacos. Then there's Argentina. I don't know a lot about Argentina, but what I do know, that's Once Stores, mi amigo. Once Stores, number 4,000 Argentinians working for Walmart. Brazil, I don't think they speak Spanish, but guess what? Vente Cinco. Vente Cinco stores in Brazil, over 6,000 6, employees in Brazil. You know what? You can talk about standards all you want, but you know, those people are coming to a nice big old family and they can feed them tacos, burritos, and churros all they want because that's a lot of jobs and that's a lot of stores at Walmart in that area. Well, I get that. But this free market system is supposed to allow these Latin American middle or to have a middle class, but you're just taking that away from them. Well, you know what, Kimosabi, it's not it's not about the middle class, it's just about it's about getting getting people jobs and I think I think they appreciate that and you know whatever gets you your sofa and your grocery stores to your to your place and uh, to their homes as well, I think that's all they really care about and that's all we should care about and that's all that's Walmart guarantee. See, but you want the economy to become, have these people become consumers, so they put back money into the economy and this doesn't grow, so. Ah, consumers, consumers, you know, it's like my, my mom always told me, you know, whatever's putting, whatever's putting bread on the table, you know. Well, T-Pain, you heard it here first. Bill Wentz is all about putting churros and burritos on the table. I'm Christopher Brown. See you next time. Thanks, Christopher, for that exquisite interview. Well, from all of us here at Nappy Boy Radio Live and Television News Broadcasting, we don't love Walmart, but we do love rap music, and we love you. I'm Terrence T. Payne, signing off. And we're clear. Thank you. Another example about companies are not held accountable. In this case, Bill Wirtz, the Matador, and consumers are the bull. Bow, bow, bow. Chapter that ye your waters work. If you're creaking your own book, you got responsibility shirt. Sure. The only responsibility I want is mention this here beer. Love not the economy, man, that stuff ain't clear. Capitalism, American is pie. Capitalism, it all we got to try. American flags and football loaded guns and pickup trucks in Justice and wealth creation, or is that just stuff to us? I'm gonna need you to take it away here, scat man. Go! Skip it, rap, bat, dab, do, boop, do, do, skip it, do, boop, 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 do, 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 do,
hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I had a good time watching it this week. So, let's discuss. Would you care about doing the right thing and being fair if you could get away with anything? As we saw in the Ring of Gaijis, um, there are many options, and just people and unjust people tend to do the same thing if they're not held accountable. What do you guys think? Yes, Casey, in the back. I mean, would I care about doing the right thing? I mean, probably, but if I'm just looking at my notes, Pla Plato, like he said, the unjust man versus the just man, both would do the same. Insightful, yes. I mean, me, Casey Chubford Tall, would probably do the just thing. I mean, I'll admit it. The other day, I'll stand up to what I've done. My, my father bought 12 donuts, and I stole one, and I, was, I wasn't supposed to, and it, it kills me a little bit. It hurts. Very good, very good. Because I feel guilt as a just man, but I mean, if we're just gonna take Darius, for instance, maybe he doesn't feel guilt about those donuts. Maybe he felt like he deserved those donuts. Yes, I see your point there. A little bull-sided, maybe. Okay, yeah. But the fact of the matter is, I just don't, I think in the words of, of Plato, I, I don't speak Greek, so I don't know exactly what he said, but I have a feeling that he would, he would probably agree with me. I don't, I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Can you further elaborate on it, please? I'm not, I'm not gonna elaborate anymore on that. Okay, thanks for the input, though. You're never wrong in this class. Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Darius. All right, yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, I like where you're going there. Makes sense. Okay, well first off, in the donut dilemma, one donut's not enough. You gotta get more than one if you're gonna be invisible and steal stuff. Yeah, Darius, I mean, I get what you're saying there, but think a little outside the box maybe. It's a little straightforward. You showed up late, you might as well add something to the conversation. Secondly, me personally, hmm. I don't think, I mean, yeah, it's a bad thing, but I'm happy. The person doesn't know that I was the one who took it, so it doesn't really bother me that much. And to counteract Casey's point, both unjust and just man will both do the same, uh, same thing in the scenario. So even though he says he allegedly only took one donut, in that case, I bet he wanted to take three or four if he could. I wanted six of those donuts. But even though he said he just wants one, I know he wants more for sure. All right, class. Well, today was a very, very good day. Um, thank you for coming, you two, and hope to see you two next time. Bye. <laughs> Scatman.